Manus, congratulations on the victory. Uh, how difficult was that uh, last first hour this morning? Um, yeah, I think the, the guys yesterday really did some hard work and got us in a position when the ball was a bit harder. It seemed like scoring was probably a little bit freer. And then this morning, obviously, it was key for us not to, um, you know, not to lose back-to-back -back wickets. I think you know losing one was all right, but we needed to make sure that we, you know, just consolidated and, and built a partnership. You know, we we were only two kind of 20 to 30 run partnerships away from winning, but um, yeah, it was it was very nice to be out there for the winning runs. Chasing 188, the highest score of the match in the fourth innings. There must have been uh, a few concerns at that stage. Yeah. <sighs> Look, we felt like we probably underperformed in that first innings. We had a few, um, you know, soft dismissals um, that, and I think on the back of that, they just got back to back wickets. And um, I felt like we probably should have got around about 200. Well, it was probably a, an appropriate score for that, for our first innings. But um, to do it in the, in the fourth innings where the ball's gone reverse and, um, you know, which is, exciting to play against because it's something we probably don't get much of in Australia at, um, in, in domestic cricket so um, to sort of get through that period and build a partnership with Cookie there to get it to the end was very satisfying. How did you judge the pitch then in a mostly low scoring game? Um, it, it's such a tough one. Um, day one it, it's, it's always nipped around here um, or this season especially um, and the bounce was a little bit inconsistent from day one so that's probably the only thing but um, you know, once you got in, I think it showed. Once you got in, yeah, you you could actually score some runs. It was a pitch that you could score on. It's just a matter of you know if you could score enough runs before you you ended up getting one that nipped back sharply or, or bounced a bit. Um, but yeah, tough to judge. Um, I think we need to make sure we continue to perform our absolute best, um, regardless, and and probably take the prior conditions of the wicket out out of our um, out of our minds because I think that's definitely. Um, Definitely with teams coming here, they're definitely thinking about that. They're looking at the scores going and, and they're probably, you know, probably including us playing playing on wickets that, um, you know, that have been previous, not, not this exact wicket. And your own uh, personal form, uh, relief to get back on it. Uh, this came after a, a few uh, lower scores to start this particular spell back with Glamorgan. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's always nice to be back in the runs and, and um, you know, even more satisfying um, that I could help us win the game today. I think, um, you know, I feel like my job is to, to help us win games, and um, to be able to do it today was was was, you know, very pleasing for myself. Um, yeah, been been a probably disappointing start for me. Um, you know, got a few, um, you know, on a few tougher wickets with the with the weather being about for the last few weeks. It's it's been batting's been tough, especially um, out here, and um, and and pr probably everywhere we've played. So. Um, but yeah, it's satisfying to be back on uh, getting some runs and, like I said, back winning games for Glamorgan. And uh, into the T20 competition now, I mean, obviously circumstances have met that uh, you can't be with uh, Australia and the West Indies, but uh, how much are you looking forward to a, a solid uh, block of T20 games now? Very excited. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely way to go to, with a bit of confidence as a team into the T20s. Um, I'm excited to play some more T20 cricket. It's something that I haven't done enough of, and I, and I want to keep doing more of that. Um, so to play, you know, hopefully play 14 games of T20 cricket for Glamorgan will be um, very exciting, and um, yeah, I can't, I'm looking forward to it. How much of an adjustment in your skills does it entail from uh, the longer white ball stuff into uh, T20 then? Um, yeah, just a few adjustments to your game. Maybe just a bit, a bit more awareness for where your boundary options are. Um, yeah, and, and you know I like hitting a lot of balls, so I'll be doing that over the next couple, probably two, three, four days before we play. Um, but yeah, it's just you know probably just tweaking your yeah, your technique and yeah your game plan and stuff like that a little bit before um, you know before T20s come. And in terms of uh, spectators, they'll have a, a couple of thousand back probably for the uh, the first couple of games here. Hopefully more thereafter and. Uh, Hopefully the likes of yourself and, and Colin Ingram can uh, show off your skills and give them something to cheer. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, day one this game was amazing to have crowds. Um, and it just shows how much you miss fans being around the game and how much they mean to us um, all around the world playing cricket. You know, it's, it's so enjoyable playing in front of people and hearing the crowd noise, even if it's not even with you. And you know, even if it's against you, it's motivation. Um, 
So to see the, the stands be, you know, 3,000 odd people here on uh, Thursday uh, will be very exciting and I think the boys are looking forward to a little bit of atmosphere. Cheers, Marnus. Well played. Thank you very Thank much, you. guys. Thank you.